Going into this meeting, the preliminary FAA findings on the proposed high-rise were clear. FAA spokesman Al Rayali. It is an obstruction and it is a potential hazard. The State Department of Aviation thinks pavilion towers would be more than a potential danger. In a letter to the FAA, it urged that the hotel be declared a hazard to air navigation. In that case, of course, the city council would block issuance of the necessary building permits, and the hotel could not go up. Developer Michael Gilardi challenged the basis of the state's opposition, saying that only Navy data were used. Gilardi commented later that he was surprised that no independent study was ever conducted by the FAA, and that his own findings wouldn't even be considered before an appeal. Regardless of what data we may submit to him, that he is obliged by law the way the act is provided to accept the Navy's data as factual and make a determination solely on the data provided by the Navy. After a heated and highly technical debate, the meeting lapsed into a verbal dogfight, hitting Gilardi against the commander of the Navy base, Captain R. W. Jewell. There must be some negotiating point. <clears throat> At 170 feet. We need the procedures that we have now. The hotel would be about 320 feet high, well over what the Navy considers tolerable for flyer safety. The FAA will make its final determination on the hotel within two to three weeks. Meanwhile, we are told the developers and the Navy will sit down for talks perhaps as soon as next week, even though Captain Jewell admitted candidly that there really is very little room for compromise. Howard Jaffe, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Virginia Beach.